Welcome to this video. This video explains how we can use hashing damage to model progressive damage of composite materials. Various aspects of hashing damage like damage initiation, damage evolution, damage stabilization, element deletion and requesting and plotting damage outputs are going to be explained in this video. We have explained modeling of laminated composite materials in our previous video and in this video we only add damage to this simulation. We use our previous CAE file and go to the property module. In property module we enter constants of CFRP lamina. At first we edit elastic properties of the glass epoxy based on these properties. Elastic properties of a lamina includes Young moduli in two directions, Poisson ratio and shear modulus in the plane of fibers and transverse shear moduli. Then we add damage for fiber reinforced composite which is hashing damage. Here we should enter a strength of the lamina in different directions. At first longitudinal tensile strengths, then compressive strengths and then transverse tensile and compressive strengths. After that in plane shear strength and transverse shear strength. This was damage initiation criteria and then we should add damage evolution rule. For this purpose we use sub option and damage evolution and here we should enter fraction energy of the lamina in each direction. After that we define damage stabilization from sub options. These viscosity coefficients act like dampers after fracture and improve rate of convergence of the solution. Please notice that each of these coefficients should be small compared to the increment size. The last parameter of the hashing damage is alpha. This parameter shows the effect of longitudinal shear stress on the fiber tensile mode damage. This parameter can change from 0 to 1. 0 means that longitudinal shear stress has no effect and 1 means that this shear stress has equal effect with longitudinal normal stress. The material behavior is complete now and we go to the step module. As the material is nonlinear after defining damage, we change the step from linear perturbation to a static general. We increase the minimum size of increment because of damage stabilization values. After that, we should request our interested outputs. These parameters are possible outputs for a model with fiber reinforced damage behavior. We request all mode of damage and status of elements, tensile and compressive damage of fiber and tensile and compressive damage of matrix. And finally, status of elements. As we have changed the material properties, we should change the load magnitude. As the last step, we should add element deletion to our model. We use assign element types and add element deletion to our model and finally we go to the job module and submit the job. Now we can see the results and plot stasis and damage evolution. We can plot various modes of damage, fiber and matrix, tensile and compressive modes. Please notice that these values are related to layer 1 and we can plot these values for different layers. Finally, we plot the status of elements. And you can see that the status is 0 for all elements. Please notice that only if in an element in all section points 
all modes of damage are active this element will be deleted and the status will be 1 thank you guys for watching this video if this video was helpful please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe see you in next videos